Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, in today's video we are back here in the GT spec series and the GT3 cars at Hakone. Uh, we did go ahead and qualify for this one, we managed to qualify on pole by just a tiny bit ahead of Harry and Flo and Water, both uh, subs of the channel and um, you know they frequent the live streams a lot and race with us um, pretty frequently and whatnot. so um we'll just see them in here uh the tune i'm using i honestly don't know whose tune this is it might be a slightly modified version of p1 arcalus's tune uh, like an unlocked version but it's really good um i know for a fact i've mo modified it a tiny bit but yeah it's a great tune i don't think i have it shared but maybe i'll do that um but yeah really close here for the top three and then you know about a half a second to the next guy um, I guess we're just gonna do medium medium because that looks like what the uh, the other two guys are gonna do so we'll just kind of see how it shakes out um, if it's still really close when we get to the end of lap six I may go for the undercut um, so yeah we'll see let's hop in and see how we do all right here we go that's a cool paint job that Harry's got on there with the, uh, I think those are like berry blossoms or whatever. That Porsche got a good launch. I mean, even with that Merc behind in the draft, we're still able to keep a pretty decent gap. So we broke the draft just barely. Harry went drifting back there, so that helped too. Oh, and that, what is happening to Flow and Water? This car just did some crazy kind of lag there. Holy cow. Mercedes, pull, pull, pull. We gotta stay out of that draft range. It's really close. I think we have a tiny advantage on the straights. Uh, it's a flow in. I think it's very, very slight. Maybe not, maybe it's dead even. Uh, 
Oh, it's really bad. There we go. They're starting to fight a little bit. Ran a 114.5 on the nose. It's always cool when you run, like, you know, either your split or your lap time ends in, you know, zero, zero or whatever. All right, I am comfortable with this gap for sure, and we are getting faster and faster here, so. Definitely just lost time. Yeah, we lost about two tenths getting loose on the curve there. There we go, and we regained it there, so we could have been in the 113s. Had we not got loose on that curve and lost those two tenths. Harry is typically faster than me. I think the only reason we're ahead like this is A, because he's in the Bentley, and I think the Merc is just faster around here and B, because he's been fighting with flow and water once we kind of built that gap up a little bit. Which has really only helped us, the fact that they've been fighting. So, I don't mind that. a little bit slower, but within a tenth of our uh, fastest lap there, so that is good. Definitely being consistent. A 69. Nice. There we go. We're up again, even on minor tire wear by a tenth. Wow, look at the gap we've built up. What happened to Harry? Did Harry quit? Or back out? Or get in a wreck? I guess we'll see at the end of the race. Since it's really not that close right now, we have like a comfortable gap. We'll go ahead and go this extra lap now, and then our tires will be a little bit um, better, you know, fresher for the end of the race. Went way deeper there than I meant to. Doesn't look like it really cost us any time to flow in, although obviously it did <laughs> cost us six tenths and lap time. Thank you for not giving me a penalty game. That would have been a pretty dumb penalty. Bad yeah, thing. We lost a bunch of time to flow in there.
right, here we go. Throw on another set of mediums and finish this out. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can pull out the, uh, the win here. Is anybody on hard tires? Anybody? Guess that one guy? Oh wait, that's Harry. There's Harry. So Harry almost got us with the undercut, but he had to have pit like laps before us I think maybe it was only one I don't know oh no please game jeez bro I slowed down a ton too I don't know if y'all saw that but literally lost a bunch of time there and still still get it with a penalty so frustrating. I don't know. I think there should be, like, a way for them to determine... Like, because, I mean, they already have kind of a way to determine the severity of the penalty, right? So, I think that for anything, like, under half a second penalty should be, like, a warning. You know what I mean? At, or at least give you, like, one or two like one or two if it's like really minor infraction warnings and then if it happens again then you hit them with whatever half a second or something like that you know what i mean kind of like what i've seen in acc i think they give you like three you know like freebies as far as like accidentally going off the track uh, before they like give you a I don't know if it's a penalty, like, time-wise, or if it's, like, a drive through or whatever, but, you know, it, like, at least you have an opportunity to make a mistake without being penalized, you know, the first mistake you make, and it's, you know, like a, not even a big one, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm kind of rambling, still out here in first, pulling away, start a lap 10 here, like to try to get into the 113s before the end of the race if we can. And if we can maintain this pace exactly, we will get into the 113s barely. Alright, come on car. Let's do this. And come on me. Don't be an idiot. sure we lost time there and yet we're still we added another tenth up nice there we go all right goal met 113 now we just try to bring this home Try not to make any mistakes. Dang, I felt like that first corner was at least as fast as last time. It turns out we're down a little bit. I mean, less than a tenth, but still. I was expecting us to be up at least a little bit. side curve that really threw me off I 
how in the world are we up, bro? Ask me how, but somehow we just set a new fastest lap despite that one feeling not great, if I'm being honest. See, now that we're a tiny bit up. That's kind of what I was expecting last time. And now we're a tiny bit down. So bizarre. But hey, at least we're consistent, right? That's the important thing. A hey, 69 again. Nice. Another 10th row. Exactly a 10th on that lap. Nice, dude. This has been, uh, dare I say, one of my more dominant performances for sure. Doesn't happen very often, but when it does, feels good, you know? To be fair, I don't qualify a ton, but, you know, even if I did, I don't think that I would win super often. So I usually get put in lobbies with insane people, like if you guys saw that video at, uh, Grand Oak not that long ago. I don't know if it was... I don't know. I'm, I'm going out of town. I don't know what order I'm going to post these in, but if you guys saw that video at Grand Oak recently with all those Dex guys, I was really excited about that being on the podium there. And then, uh, yeah, if you've seen it, you know what happened. And rip. But, yeah, in this race, uh, totally different story. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that, like I said, dare I say, total domination, because, I mean, fastest lap by four tenths, basically, almost half a second. Um, yeah, I mean, started in first, finished in first, won by, whatever, six and a half seconds or something, so, very cool. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you leave it a like. If you enjoy this type of content and you are not already, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in the next one.